Verse 3. They sang the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb. So what did they sing? The song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb. Here it shows clearly that this is the Israelite people, the Jewish people of the end times. The Jewish people of the end times. Because who is singing in the end of times the song of Moses? The Jews. We don't sing the song of Moses. We sing the song of the Lamb. We belong to the Lamb, not to Moses. The Moses, Moses is a servant of the, of the Lamb of God. He is the servant of the Lord Jesus. So, who sings till this day the song of Moses? The Israelite people. Why? Because they never believed in the first coming of the Lamb of God, who is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And where do we see? Where do we see this song of Moses? Exodus chapter 15, verses 1 to 19. This is the song of Moses. Exodus chapter 15, verses 1 to 19. I won't go into it. But what is this song all about? Their deliverance from the... From where? From the land of Egypt. The Lord God sent Moses at the age of 80 to go and deliver the Israelite nations from the hands of Pharaoh. And as they were, as they passed through the Red Sea, where it parted in half, and they cut through the Red Sea, walking on dry land, and they crossed the Red Sea, and then after that, they were delivered from the hands of, the, of Pharaoh and set free from the temptations of Egypt, Moses sang the song of the servant of God. He sang the song praising and thanking the Lord for his mighty works in his people. So you see that in Exodus 15, chapter uh, um, 15, verses 1 to 19. But they also sang the song of who? The Lamb. Why the song of Moses and also the song of the Lamb? Why is that? The Lord is saying to the Jewish people in the end of times, you see, you didn't believe in me in my first coming, but in the end you will. Because they will sing the song of the Lamb as well. Not just Moses, but the Lamb as well. So this is revealing that Jews in the end of times, more than likely the 21st century, our, our century, they will come back to the Lord and they will believe in Him. At least most of them. But why did they believe in the Lamb of God? Because He said, if you don't believe in me, then listen to Moses. Whatever Moses wrote, he wrote about me. So if you truly believe in Moses, Moses will lead you to the Lamb of God. Now Moses wrote the five books of Torah, the law, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. These are the, the five books of, of the law, Torah. So when you read the Torah and plus all the prophecies of the Old Testament, all of them will point to one person, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So the Lord is saying, when you follow Moses from the heart, Moses will lead you to the Lamb of God, because everything Moses wrote, he wrote about me. So believe in Moses, you will believe in me as well. So the song of Moses will lead them to the song of the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, where they will embrace him, accept him as Lord and Savior, in the end times coming out of the great tribulation.